Hi, my name is Erin Marsh. This is going to be a whole body flow, all from the chair, working on stress relief. Um, the legs, you can move yourself if you don't have uh, mobility control over your bottom part. Um, so it is accessible for most, but not all people. So keeping that in mind before you start. So since this is focusing on stress relief, the breath is really important. So if at any time you notice you're losing track of your breath, slow it down or even come to a complete halt and return to the breath. All right, speaking of, we're gonna start with alternate nostril breathing, which helps calm the nervous system and also wake us up. So take your hang loose hand or your Y in sign language, close the left nostril with either your thumb or your pinky, inhale through the right, switch, close the right, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left, exhale through the right, Inhale through the right, switch, exhale through the left. Inhale through left, switch. If you're a visual learner, go ahead and continue that. Imagine the breath is going up through the nose and down, and then that same side up and down. So alternate nostril. Let the hand relax down to the thigh, deep breath inside out. <sighs> Even just from that breathing, you should feel a little calmer, a little more relaxed. Then from here, bring your legs as wide as they comfortably go. We're gonna inhale the arms up. Exhale, pull the elbows in. Inhale up. Alternately, you can keep the legs in. So you want to feel that back engage as you pull. We're going to gently warm up before any deep stretching. Just like when you get a cold rubber band and you stretch it too far, it can break. If you warm it up first and start with little gentle pulls, then it can stretch farther. We're the same way. And then we're gonna change this up a little bit. If the knees are wide or they can stay hip distance, we're gonna inhale up and then swoop down. So just hinging at the hips, inhale up. And you don't have to go very far here. You could just go here. Or if you want a deeper stretch in the hips, you can come all the way down. You know your body best, so you know what's gonna work for you and what won't. So throughout this practice, really feel free to modify. This is about relieving stress. If any pose makes you tighten up, don't do it or adjust it. Last one. And then exhale, hands through heart center. If your feet are wide, bring them back hip distance. We're gonna move into a seated cat and cow. So inhale, chest opens, elbows go back, look straight ahead so there's no pressure on that upper spine. Exhale, roll on the sit bones, look down at the legs. Inhale, open to cow. Exhale, roll. Almost like you're trying to press the lower back into the back of the chair. Inhale, open. Continue at your own pace with your own breath.
one more of each. And if your hips are tight like mine are, you might even feel this in the hips as well. And then meet in center. Sitting up nice and tall, activate the core to protect the spine. We're gonna lean to the right, forward, left. So little half circles with the torso. And again, how far you hinge is up to you. These could look like this or deeper. Both are right. Reverse your circle. Keep those hips rooted to the chair. And then meet in center. From here, bring your feet a little closer just for stability. Bring your right leg up to the thigh. Flex the foot. If you don't have this hip flexibility, straighten the bottom leg and bring it to the shin. So whichever option, foot flexed, sit up nice and tall, and then press the chest forward. Ooh, that feels good. Deep breaths. Inhale up, slide the leg down, and switch to the opposite side. And you'll notice one side is always tighter than the other. That's normal. Foot flex, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, hinge. Might be a quarter of an inch, might be more. As long as you feel that stretch in the hip, you're doing it correctly. There should be no discomfort in the knee. That's why the foot is flexed. And a lot of time, if you're suffering from low back pain, a lot of times it's actually tight hips. And then come on up. Release both feet down to the ground. And then from here, we're gonna add a little twisty movement. So option one is hands to the shoulders. Option two is cactus arms, whatever feels best. Twisting, inhale one way, exhale the other. And then option to speed it up if that feels good on your spine. For me, it helps increase my mobility, but everyone's different. Next time you're twisting to the right, hold there, extend the arms. Left hand can come to the thigh. Right arm can come behind holding onto the chair, the arm, or the bottom of the chair. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, looking over the back shoulder. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Unwind, twist to the other side.
and release. Keeping the feet either hip distance or you can wind them to make room for the uh, belly and if you're a lady, the upper part. Hinge forward and just hang here. Inhale on up. If your feet are wide, bring them back together. Reach for your right knee. Option one is to hold on to the back of the thigh and just hug it in, sitting up nice and tall. Option two is to reach for the shin. So pinching that hip flexor, but it's important to sit up nice and tall. If you have a stable chair, you could lean back and hug it in this way, whatever is more comfortable. Come on up and switch legs. Same options here. Ooh, that one's tight. And come on up, sitting up nice and tall, hands on the thighs. We're going to rotate the chest in circles. So just kind of imagine you're moving your chest in a circle. So getting into that spine, upper back, reverse that circle. Takes more control than you would think. And it probably feels awkward. That's okay. And then meet in center. From here, we're going to inhale, open up into a nice big chest opener. Look up just a tiny bit. Exhale, curl, bringing the palms together. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl. Moving with your breath. A lot of times when we're stressed, we tend to hunch forward, which makes our chest tight and our back overstretched. So when the upper back is hurting, a lot of times it will help to increase mobility in the upper back and focus on stretching the chest so it's not pulling everything forward. On this next time, when our hands are curled, interlace the fingers, turn the palms away from you, and curl through the upper back. Release the hands. Reach for the back of your chair. You could hold on to the arms, the back, or the bottom. Open up through the chest. Tuck the chin slightly and breathe. Release, come back to center. All right, we're gonna do a warrior two variation. I'm gonna mirror you. So left leg straight, right leg bent, sit on the edge. All right, and so you'll feel this opening through the hips. Then extend to the arms and gaze over the right middle finger. Breathe.
We're going to add some movement here. Bring the right elbow to the right thigh. Left arm overhead. There's Lucy. And come up and reverse. So moving through the side body. Make sure the bottom is still firmly on the chair. And the next time we're in our side angle variation, right elbow to right thigh, left arm straight up to the ceiling, look up, or you could bring it overhead for a deeper stretch, whatever feels best. Keep that spine long, try to rotate the chest up toward the ceiling a little bit. Inhale up into our reverse warrior, right arm overhead, looking up. Very light pressure on this leg, light to little to none. Doesn't really make sense. You know what I mean. And back to center. Bring the legs back to hip distance. And just to get stable here for a little bit, let's straighten the left leg, foot flexed, hinge forward. Make sure there's a micro bend in this knee. You don't want to lock the knee here. Come on up, switch legs, right leg straight, foot flex, toes pointing up to the ceiling, hinge forward, slide the right hand down to wherever it feels comfortable. And come on up. Moving into our warrior. So the legs can stay hip distance and you could do the arms. Or bring this leg out. Straighten the right leg. Find your warrior. Make sure you're still firmly on the chair. Extend the arms. Gaze over the left middle finger. And then we're going to move into that flow. So left arm to the thigh, right arm overhead. Inhale up, reverse warrior. Continuing like that. If your legs are still hip distance, you'll be stretching through the side body. And then let's hold our side angle, left arm to left thigh, right arm straight up to the ceiling or overhead. Keep the shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Pull the core in. Inhale up to reverse, left arm overhead. And back to center. Bring the feet hip distance if they're not already. Straighten the left leg. 
pigeon toe it and then hinge forward and try to touch the toes to the ground. So, oh yeah, flex and point. Come back to center, bend the left leg, straighten the right, foot flexed, hinge, then point, in, uh, pigeon toe it, and try to touch the ground. And come on up from here, feet hip distance. We're going to inhale, shrug the shoulders up, exhale, drop. A few more like this. One more. Good. Then from here, shoulder rolls one at a time. And meet in center. Bringing this right leg up again, foot flexed. Hopefully right away it feels a little looser, a little more open. Then bring the right arm in front and gently pull. Now, option to stay just as you are, foot flexed, or you could add a little hinge. Tuck the chin slightly. Come on up, slide the leg over like you're sitting ladylike or eagle legs. If you can, tuck those toes. So since right leg is on top, we're gonna inhale, open, then right arm on bottom. If your hands don't touch, just do one of these or you can hold here. Otherwise, bring your hands to full eagle legs, eagle arms. Breathe. Release, release the legs, slide the left leg up. Again, it can be down on the shin. Foot flexed, get that nice long spine, bring the left arm in front and pull with the right. Relax the shoulders, option for a hinge. Come on up, release the arms, slide the leg over for eagle legs. Yep, can't, can't tuck on this side. Inhale, open the arms. This time left goes under right. Again, you can just hug. You could hold on to whatever fingers you can reach or bring the fingers to the palm for eagle arms. And release. 
Come back to a comfortable seated position, feet hip distance. We're going to move on to the neck. Deep breath in. Exhale, tuck the chin, roll to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. So we're doing half circles with the breath here. You don't want to dump the head back because that puts too much stress on the cervical spine. So just a little half circle side to side. The next time the right ear is on the right shoulder, hold there. Option to stay here, or you can reach the left hand toward the floor. Ooh. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Reach the right arm. I'm trying to give clear directions without over talking so you can really feel the stretch center, focus on the breath. Back to center. Relax both shoulders and then we're just going to turn the head side to side. When I first started yoga, I was in my 20s used to think this was such a silly move, like, why do we need to turn our head? But now that I'm 40, I realize neck mobility really does decrease as we age. And I have friends who can't even look over their shoulders. So it is important. Even with something as simple as this, I'm sure you notice one side you can turn a little easier on than the other. And then meet and center. For this next one, let's interlace your hands. Our thumbs are going to go right on those pressure points on the base of the skull. And then we're going to lean back, reaching the elbows to opposite sides of the room. If you don't want to do those pressure points on your skull, just lean your head into your hands. And release. From here, we're going to inhale the arms up. Exhale through heart center. Returning to the breath, inhale up. Reach the fingertips. Exhale through. Continue with the breath. Last one. From here, we're going to move into side stretches. Let's bring the left arm to the armrest or to the bottom of the chair. Lean right. Inhale up and over. Moving with your breath. Sitting firmly on the chair. One more each side. And the meet center, relax the hands. You can go ahead and sit back in the chair, any comfortable position. 
Take a deep breath in, sigh it out. All right, we're going to start with box breathing. So go ahead, close the eyes, and it's just like a box. So we're going to inhale for four, hold for four, exhale for four, hold for four. So take a deep breath in, sigh it out. One more like that. Then inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, deep breath inside out, <sighs> relax into your chair, notice how the body feels after moving and breathing, bring your hands to your lower belly, five belly breaths to end practice, so you want to feel the hands lift up and lower. Slowly return to the breath. Do a few ankle and wrist rolls. Release that. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale the arms up. Exhale through heart center. Hold here. Take a deep breath inside out. Take a moment to set your intention for the day. Could be something as little as noticing when you're feeling overwhelmed and taking a moment to breathe, or really enjoying that cup of coffee, or really focusing on what you're going to learn today or who you're going to interact with. Take a moment and think about that. Lighten me, honors, lighten you. Namaste.